So if you do have a four pole motor and you decide to run it at double the frequency, which in the uh, United States would be 120 hertz, what you have to do is change option 000. So you go to program, make sure it says 000, hit enter. Now standard is 60 hertz. Um, if you change it to one, there'll be 50 hertz. Um, and then you want to go to a custom, which would be two. Now, now the VFD knows that you have a custom motor, or at least that's what it believes. So you have to also tell it what the maximum frequency is. So you would change option zero zero five now show sixty right now so you would have to change this to one twenty so now it knows that it's supposed to run at 120 hertz. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you run the uh, the motor twice the frequency is this: once you are over the standard 60 hertz, the torque of the motor will drop directly proportional to the speed. So, for example, if my memory serves correct. A two horsepower motor, let's say an 1800 RPM motor, running at twice the speed, 3600 RPM is 120 hertz, loses 75% of its torque. So at 3600 RPMs, that motor is really a half a horsepower motor. So, you know, you may find that in an application where you want to run the motor under, under a heavy load, that you're actually stopping it even at that speed because you are reducing the actual work that the motor can perform by losing all that torque. So if speed is what you're looking for, a bigger flywheel is likely a better choice than doubling the speed. So unless you're you know, doing something uh, that requires high speed but um, no real heavy work, like I don't know, you're polishing something, I would probably stay away from doubling the speed.